Hi tubers, me again. Decided to pick my camera up again. I've got some work to do on this bike today. Um, I picked this bike up, well I picked the remains up last week. I rescued it from being scrapped. And I got it from my mum's neighbour who um, picks up old bikes from down the recycling centre. I mean the old bikes. 50s, 60s, 70s type bikes and he breaks them up for parts to sell on eBay because the parts are very often worth more than the bike whole. Anyway, all he took off of this was the seat and seat post, handlebar and stem and the brakes. Um, I like the frame. It's an old, I believe, 1980s Rally Rocky 2. I believe it's 1980s. Oh, that's the other thing he took off, the headstock badge. I don't know why, I just liked the frame. So, I took it. It was in a heck of a state, full of dust, full of cobwebs, full of just about every type of muck you can think of. Had the big, bulky, plastic mud guards on, which I've changed for a set of stainless steel, because they were broken. I put the dynamo lights on and the LED lights and the reflectors. I changed the rear derailleur. Uh, it's got an alumin aluminium custom A crank set and aluminium pedals. The stem is one I put in. I ha oh, the only bar I had at the time was a mountain bike straight bar, which is what I want to change today. So, I'm going to set you down. Hopefully, just move the toolbox that way. Hopefully, over here on the side. Set you on there. Just make sure you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Hopefully, the camera battery is going to last. And off I go. Now, first thing I need to take off handlebar grip, and yes, I did cut these ones for the knife, they're only on here temporarily, so get rid of that. The next thing I need to do is disconnect the brakes, that's not going to let me do it, it's too tight, it's too tight for everyone, it's too tight as well. So let me just grab a 10mm spanner, I'll be fine with that. Thank 
we're off. We don't need that. Got my box out of the way. Uh, I'm not going to take that side off. I'm only going to take one side off. So what I need to do. Bigger flathead. Here we have a bigger flathead screw off. Let's try this one. Start 
crank the down the nuts, and I hope it's going to crank down on the bar. Does it? And I might have to find another stem or another handlebar. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. In that case, I'll stop the video and I'll see what else I can find. Well, I would stop the video there and let's see if I've got perhaps a different stem I can use to put in there, or perhaps find a different handlebar. I'm sure I've got something kicking around somewhere in all my bits. So, talk to you later. Welcome back. I found a solution. I used some of these little bits of rubber you get with sets of bike lights. These days, always keep a part of them because they're useful. There's a couple of those in here. And I've also got ahead of us ahead and already fit the handlebar and I had to change the stem as well because I shared one of the nuts off. Anyway, I can continue now. So, I'm going to continue and feed on the gear levers. Next, brake levers, one, okay, pop them out of this one, four, let's try that again, shall we, and grips, the original ones. Number one. And number two. Now, the handlebar grips on we can position the brake levers and gear levers. Exactly where we need them. Or want them. Now I've got a misplaced my 5mm hexagon key again. No, I haven't. I have to the signal. Oh well. It'll turn up. And this one fits perfectly in my. So, crank this on. Yeah, I like the feel of that. So there's one. And then line it up as much best as possible.
head of justice. There's. to replace the cable as well. There we go. I'm going to turn the camera off because the battery is about to die. I'll change the batteries and I'll be back. Back again with fresh batteries. I mean, they don't last very long in this camera. That's not a rechargeable camera. Anyway, the last thing I've got to do is just set the brakes up. Tighten the gear levers up, and it's good to go. So I'll set you back down over here. Somewhere there. Let's get cracking with the brakes. Yeah, 
one tightened, as simple as that. I'll try and keep that the way so you can see. She is my little old beast done. Uh, that should be a lot more comfortable to ride with higher handlebars. That's the other reason I changed them from the straight bar. That one's very good on my back. I do like riding this one. It does ride pretty smooth for something so old. Well, I suppose it's 1980s isn't that old. reflectors they used to have. I like it anyway. I'm not a very tall person. I'm five foot four, so a small frame is ideal for me. Anyway, I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.